Hey, you Mystic family. Mystic Unigon here. And, oh my goodness, we are, I am on my fourth pet peeve list. Lord have mercy. <laughs> that means 40, because each one has 10. So if you guys have watched the other three, you will thoroughly enjoy this. Pet peeve number one. Okay, here's one. When I was streaming on Twitch, I would tweet about it, like, a few minutes before I'd go live. And what annoyed me was people liking it, sometimes sharing it, but not even coming to the stream to even say hi. Now, friends of mine did show up and say hi. But most people liked it and didn't even show up. So, I, I don't know. I just thought that is kind of rude. But that's... I, I don't know if that is or not, but that's just me. I felt like it was rude. Don't like it if you're not going to support the person. That's just how I see it. Number two. One thing I can't stand is going to bed dirty. Ugh, no. If I feel dirty and gross, no. Shower. Must shower before bed. Number three. Ads or commercials that play nonstop for months or maybe even years on end. And you guys will see this, an example of this, in the next video. Number four. Creepy guys who gawk and smile at women like they've never seen boobs before. And some of these types of guys kind of have that really creepy serial killer smile. Like, they would just literally come and murder you in your sleep. Yeah. Number five, when people make me late. Number six, I cannot stand whistling because, for one, I suck at it. Um, like, I don't mind so much somebody whistling a song. But when guys whistle that sexy sounding thing to a chick, like, I can't stand that. I hate that. That is so annoying. And customers at work will do that to get an associate's attention, but they'll whistle, like how you whistle for your dog to come to you. They'll do that to us associates, and it's extremely rude, and we ignore them. That is our whole thing. You whistle, you whistle to us like we're a freaking dog, we will ignore the crap out of you. You need, we are human same as you, we are not dogs. Don't treat us like that. I cannot stand that. Number seven, people when people who constantly clear their throats, like just nonstop clearing their throat, like get a freaking lozenge or something, get a fisherman's friend, that'll help you better than anything else. Number eight, okay, when, s now I know I can't be the only one who's going through this because it happens almost every time we go to the mall. When someone gets in their car from leaving a, a busy place like the mall and they sit in their freaking car for 20 minutes on their phones instead of just leaving so that somebody else can have the spot. That is so rude and annoying. Like, I, ugh, that irritates us so bad. Okay, here's another one. Parking lot pet peeve. Now, this is this this happens to me after I leave work. When I leave the store and someone follows me in the car in the parking lot thinking they'll get a close parking space. I'm sure you've all been followed in the parking lot after leaving the store. That is annoying and creepy. It happens a lot when I leave work and since I'm on day shift, Technically, day shift associates are supposed to park farther away so that customers can have the closer spots. Now, if you're on overnight, it doesn't matter. You can go close because hardly anybody shops overnight. Um, so 
they end up following me and then they get pissed off because I just keep walking because my car's all the way up there. It's not close. And then they just kind of zoom past me like they're irritated. Like, you can always tell when somebody's irritated driving because they'll just, they'll be going slow and then they'll just take off randomly. So here's a little thing. If you hate when people do that to you, even if you're parked close, keep walking to piss them off. And then when they've gone past you, turn around and go back to your car. Unless you have parked far away. Then be like, haha, sucker, that's what you get. Because that's just creepy and annoying. God forbid you have to walk a few extra feet to the store. If you're not handicapped, you shouldn't be fussing for a front spot. God gave you feet to walk with. <laughs> um, number 10. One thing I really can't stand, being on streams, on here, on social media, anywhere, people don't get the hint. I am in a relationship. I am not here to make videos or stream to look for a guy. I have a man. I don't need one. Stop thinking that you're going to get a shot. Because number one, I'm not worth it, okay? I already have a video planned for this, so I'm not going to go into detail. Do not. I am here for friendships only. And that is all it ever will be. Every time I get that feeling that guys want me, which I don't know why... <laughs> I'm not attractive. I mean, I had a friend, I had a friend and because he's married now, the biggest compliment he gave me was that I have a sexy mind. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's that's why, but I am very 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 independent. I do not like mushy stuff at all. I do not. I cannot stand mushy stuff. I am here for friendships only. And never Ever will it be anything else. And even if I do end up alone for whatever reason, I pretty much plan to stay that way. Because, number one, I don't think any guy, any other guy out there could handle the me that they don't see on here. And it takes a lot of years of getting to know someone. And my boyfriend's even told me that I've changed some ways good, some ways not. And I'm like, no, I just quit being all nice and sweet and loving because people have taken unfair advantage of that and pushed me to that bitch limit. Because there is that point, the older you get, the less crap you take from people, and that's pretty much where I'm at. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not against anyone. Don't fall for me. I'm not worth it, okay? I'm really not. I'm here for friendships. I'm here to talk if you got mental health problems or you just need someone to talk to. That is all. I don't want people feeling that way for me, and I have... No feelings like that for anyone else. So, friendship is all it is. That's all it will ever be. Please don't expect anything more, and please don't be upset that that's just how I am. There's so, like I said, there's so much about me you don't know, and you can't really have true feelings unless you know someone inside and out and you really don't know when you're chatting through the internet. You really don't. You really don't. Friendships are important and friendships keep us going every day. So remember that and who knows, maybe I'll make a pet peeve list number five. If I think of any more. No, I did start one for work-related stuff, but I don't know where that's going yet. So, anyway. Hope you enjoyed this one. 
Let me know if you agree with any of these, and thank you for watching.